Hey, real quick, preface before any of this starts going. Hi, I have had flu A for over a week. The week before that, I was taking care of my daughter who also had flu A. So I've been two weeks without really pretty much being out of commission here. Um, this video is a bit of a shit show. You have been warned, you haven't enjoyed. I apologize, Tip Top. Tip Top, I love ya. This one's a little wacky. I think, yeah, we're recording. We are recording. We are recording. We are recording on my old Canon 7DD with a wireless microphone. We have gone like a slimmed old school down as we possibly can here. Welcome back to Picture Me. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. We got the laugh and love. El Petit. Look at that, it's sharp. The one thing I worry about is these knives, the La Patite knives here. They say good for normal use, but normal use is gonna dull the blade. Just in general, like, <sighs> should I use this knife while cutting packages if I wanna retain the sharpness so I can cut this cigar? That's a good question, right? It's a good question because sure, I mean, it's a sharp knife. It's, it should stay a sharp knife, but if you do dumb things with a sharp knife, the sharp knife's not sharp anymore. That's just basic math. Uh, anyway, this is the package from Tip Top. Tip Top Smoke Cigar of the Month Club, uh, March 2023. Boys and Goyles, we are already in March 2024, my bad. And this, is, I am still sick. This is the El Baton by JC Newman. I'm not getting up so you can see the cigar, but I, I am, that is a byproduct of me getting up. So, here's the thing, boys and girls. <clears throat> After I put out a whole bunch of videos about talking about how I got a bunch of packages and blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't put it out. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, pick Jimmy, at pick Jimmy on Instagram, you would know that I have had flu A. <clears throat> and right after I got a package from Sokka, a package from JC Newman, and a package from Keelan, and a package from, I got a bunch of packages in the mail. Right after I got a bunch of packages in the mail before I could smoke any of it, I got flu A. I have not smoked a cigar yet since having flu A. I am smoking this El Baton, a package from JC Newman, obviously. Um, I have five of these, so I'm smoking one now. It's supposed to be JC Newman's strongest cigar. I don't like that. Uh, so, this is Tip Top Smoke Shop. This is a Tip Top Smoke Emporium. I say Tip Top Smoke Shop because it sounds funner. Uh, but anyway, tip top smoke, tip top smoke for uh, March 2024. Like I said, we're back down to three cigars. Tip top is back down to three cigars. They do offer a premium. They did not send me the premium this month. I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. I think they're only sending me the regulars, which is cool. We're cool. Uh, but the premium has, I think, more cigars. Premium has six. Premium has six. Premium has six. Um, I have no idea what this cigar is supposed to taste like. Right now, it's a whole lot of funky. It's a whole lot of funky in my mouth. And I know that is not the cigar's fault, most likely. So this month is the month of March, as I have said a thousand times. So uh, I'm not even gonna look at the card real quick. Starting out with the munch of March, the munch of March, we get this right here. This is the Filthy Hooligan by Alec Bradley, but this is the Shamrock. So while the traditional Filthy Hooligan is made with two wrappers, the Shamrock here throws in a third. I have had the Shamrock and I have had the traditional Filthy Hooligan. I remember from, I asked Michael's Tobacco of Keller to describe, like, hey, 
when I was first when I was when I was when I was first doing reviews, I was like, hey, what's this cigar supposed to be like? And they literally just copy and pasted Half Wheel's review. And I was like, oh, thank you for the customer service. Anyway, the black black market, the Alec Bradley Black Market Filthy Hooligan Shamrock is a 6x50 cigar, medium bodied cigar with noticeable notes of spice, pepper, tobacco, and earth. Uh, it is a wrapper made of Candela, Habano, and Maduro. St. Patrick's Day cigar, it comes out every single year. Uh, happy to have it, happy to try it. My second cigar you get from Tip Top, apologize for the, the Tip Top. I got flu A, I'm sorry. I'll try and clean this up in post, but it's gonna be spastic today, I'm sorry. Uh, but point is, cigar one is the Shamrock, it's a dope cigar, it's an annual release, it's really cool that they have it included. Fun one. Um, if you can't find them before St. Patrick's Day, check a week or two after St. Patrick's Day in the big box stores, they will have tons of these that they were not able to offload. So, can't find it before St. Patrick's Day, go after the fact, they're gonna be marked down because they're trying to get rid of them because St. Patrick's Day is over, they're gonna have a bunch. Okay, next up is the Sin Compromiso number two. This cigar right here is the cigar in the size that got me my first run in with Mr. Saka. Um, this big bad right here is a seven by 56. So pretty big size smoke right here. Nice big size. It is the number two, isn't it? No, this is the number seven. Apologies, this is the number seven. Sin Compromiso number seven, seven inch by 56. Uh, the results of a truly complex and smooth cigar, uh, very strong, yet at the same time delivers captivating and entrancing smoke. Looking forward to trying it again. I would actually love to revisit this one. It's live stream size, so that's pretty cool. And it's kind of Irishy and fits with the St. Patrick's Day theme which is pretty, pretty cool. It's a beautiful cigar, I will say that. No matter what I think about this cigar, it is a beautiful cigar. Last, but certainly not least, I gotta tell you this, Tip Top. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you something, Tip Top? Let me ask you something. This is a Casa 1910, okay? Revolutionary edition. And it is the uh, Cuchillo Parado. Cuchillo Parado, is that it right? It's a five by 50, it's the orange band. Keelan loves this one. We got two cigars, okay? Definitely St. Patrick's Day could fit in a St. Patrick's Day theme. Why is this not the Calvary? This should have been the Calvary edition with the green band. For one, I like that one better. <laughs> but this is a good cigar. Woody, earthy, peppery, spicy tones. Uh, T Keelan gets tea. He gets a very specific tea note on this cigar. It's good, I like it. It's a beautiful green, green. It's a beautiful orange band. I like these cigars a lot. I got sent a lot of them. I got sent a lot of them. Uh, so I smoked a good amount. They're solid, very solid cigar overall. Mexican San Andreas Sumatra seed wrapper covers the San Andreas binder and filler. If you don't know anything about Casa 1910, uh, they're all about Mexican Revolution cigars. They're cool. It's a cool brand, uh, cool brand owner, great cigars. I have yet to smoke one that I dislike, but so far my favorite is the Green Band. That's the Calvary. And believe it or not, believe it or not, I like the Torpedo Tip the best. Yeah, right? Anyway, so this is Tip Top Smoke Cigar Emporium Cigar of the Month Club for March of 20. 24 and it's a uh, it's a nice solid little selection right there if you want a little more there is a premium i don't have the premium i don't know what the premium is but there is a premium again i cannot tell you where uh to go if you'd like to find more information i cannot help you that is not allowed but i can tell you is here's some details of the things that i just showed you on screen looking forward to trying um I honestly all of them. These are three great cigars. I don't need to try any of them. Looking forward to revisiting this cigar. I love this cigar, the Shamrock. The Shamrock is a fun... There's just something about Candela Barber Poles that for me is interesting. Cause... Let's be real. A lot of cigar brands, a lot of cigars, okay? A lot of cigars taste exactly the same. So when you do something fun, like a Barber Pole Candela, 
or do a candela barber pull on a cigar, you get a different flavor profile. You often get a nutty profile, a creamy profile at times, a fresh grassy profile. So it's fun to take those flavor combinations of maybe something that's woody and then you add a grassy note to it. And then and then it just, it's, it's, it's all an experience. And it's, I, I love cigars of all different types. I really dig the ones that can take you on a journey. And typically, we get something a little fun with something like this. And God, look at that band. Look at that band. How can you hate that band? Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I uh, appreciate you. I apologize for kind of being, I've been very absent from responding to comments. Uh, this year has been by far the worst. I didn't expect to get flu A and I've uh, been posting more and more and more and more and more and being inactive and inactive and inactive. And it's because I've been feeling bad and I've been really busy and I'm about to jump into trade show season. So here's my promise to you, nothing. I promise you nothing but to do my best. I appreciate y'all. Please keep liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all those wonderful things. I appreciate you all so, so very much. I'm gonna puff on this cigar. Uh, I'm gonna review it soon because I am really, really digging it. I can't wait to see how the flavors open up with two things. One, didn't dry box this at all. I yanked it from a humidor and said, mine, and I'm gonna smoke it. And it's not doing bad. It's definitely too wet to smoke. Not, not, not too wet to smoke. Too wet to be optimal. Definitely still good enough to enjoy. Um, but you see the band trick? Oh, look at that. It does move a little smidgy smidge. Not very much though. So definitely could use some dry boxing. That being said, just because you don't completely dry box a cigar. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy that cigar. Y'all freak out too much about humidity. Too much. It's very, very bold. It's very spicy. It's like, it's like a full, you can taste the fullness of it all. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much flavors that I'm discerning because no matter what I say, there is that fun, sick tinge still all over this. So I'm not gonna fault that, but I am digging it very much. Again, thank you so much, Tip Top. If you guys have liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, can't tell where you go, but you know where you can find some friends. It's Tip Top. I don't know what the fuck that was peace and as a reminder please follow me over on rumble tiktok and instagram if you have them links are in the description down below just in case things ever go belly up here on youtube we want to make sure the bushel stays together